Hello YouTube, today we're going to be reviewing another antenna and this time we're going to be taking a look at the, uh, the Mirkit, M-A-R-K-I-T, tactical folding antenna. And so this right here is really marketed to your Baofeng users because uh, Baofeng is really marketed to that tactical culture. You know, there are radios you can buy, you can just trash, it's not too much if you have to replace them. Uh, they're durable little radios. But uh, these antennas are really marketed toward those users. You'll see these on Amazon and eBay and places like that. Um, and you know they go by different brands. And I'm not quite sure the quality of each of them and how they compare because this is the first folding antenna I've gotten. But we're going to take a look at it today. Uh, we're going to take a look at it with the antenna analyzer and uh, just some of the specs. And we'll t we'll talk about it. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the uh, the Mirkit antenna here comes in at uh, $26.75 on Amazon, which is a little higher than what these typically run. Uh, that just mean that there's better quality materials in here, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so this was shipped to me and it came with a rubber washer. With a rubber washer here, so this is starting to become a little more trendy because some radios have a shorter uh, connector. So you can put that on there if, uh, if you're not getting a good connection to your radio or it'll kind of help uh, stabilize things. So what are the deal with these antennas? So they appeal to the tactical bunch. Uh, so they can be folded up, put away somewhere, and then brought back out when you need it. So that's pretty handy. Uh, and basically the way this one works is it just folds over right like that right there. It'll come down like this. Then you can just take the little Velcro strap. And if you did it the right way, then you can just kind of velcro it together and it uh, it doesn't destroy the antenna it's made with a bendable material so that uh, it'll still work whenever you unfold it and nothing's broken on the inside but you can just pack it away just like this right here throw it in a bag go hiking bring it back out and you just pop the thing back open again and bam you got an antenna this is an 18.7 inch so I'm guessing it's probably about a 1 4th wavelength uh, for 2 meters and on the antenna itself, the specs are 136 megahertz through 520 megahertz, and it's capable of handling 8 watts. So, like I said, we're going to do a little bit of measurements here, and it's not going to be too scientifically accurate because nothing really is when you measure a HT antenna. There's way too many variables uh, with the camera poise and and us being holding the radio and all these other variables that come into play but I will be using the Nano VNA on it and we're going to compare the SWR measurements with that of a Balfang rubber ducky just to kind of get a, a ground on what it should look like and hopefully here uh, we'll get some good measurements and this antenna is sold by an authorized Balfang uh, distributor and I'm just reading some specs off the screen here that I can't normally memorize so yeah first before we uh, slap this on the radio here I just want to um, get some measurements. So let's hook it up to the VNA and uh, see what it looks like. All right, so let's do a quick calibration on the Nano VNA. Let's make sure we get some accurate measurements here. And let's see. Calibration, reset, calibrate. And I've heard a lot of difference uh, back and forth about the best way to calibrate these. If to leave this open, I'll leave it open, all that fun stuff. Everybody's got a different opinion, it seems. I'm just going to uh, screw the thing on. And now we got shorts. And now we have load. We'll skip oscillation and do through. I'm not quite sure if it really matters after those big three with our cause but we'll do it anyways just for safe measure we'll save it on four there we go we're calibrated up now and let's go ahead and see what we got here to screw on the end and we're, like i said we're going to compare it to something else here so i'm going to put on the bow thing antenna here and let's just see what a rubber duck valving antenna says. And then if it's way off, then I can determine that 
for some reason our calibration was off. Well, I mean, I'm measuring a bow thing antenna, who knows. But, with a bow thing antenna, at 145, we're looking at a 1 to 3 SWR as I'm holding the antenna like this. So, as you can see here, hopefully, that's with the bow thing antenna. So, we're looking at a, almost a 1 SWR on 145. So, let's move up to... 444, 445. Alright, so 445, we're looking at about a 1.5 SWR as I'm holding the antenna like this. So, with the rubber duck, it looks like it's, I mean, pretty spot on the way it should be. So, let's try the, uh, let's try the, the mirror kit antenna and see what it's looking like now. So I'm gonna hold the mirror kit antenna just as I did the bow thing antenna, and it looks like we're getting a 1.5 SWR at 445, and let's move over to two meters and see where we're looking at there. So 145, we're seeing about a 2.8 SWR, I'm sure if I move this around a little bit it's gonna change now it's very really, it's very resonant actually at 130 so the 2 meter seems a little bit off around a 3.0 SWR and if I move this around a little bit of course it's gonna change if I hold it in a different place it's gonna change even more so it's fairly difficult to get an accurate reading now swapping these antennas out I was able to notice that of course the, the mirror kit antenna is receiving an NOA station a lot clearer than the rubber duck. Not too surprising, um, but we'll just turn it up just so you can hear the quality. So as you can hear, it's pretty much full, uh, full quieting. It sounds really good. So that's pretty much it for the Mirkit antenna. Uh, when I feel of it, it seems to be made out of some pretty good uh, quality materials, and I do think this would be a good antenna to pack away if you're going hiking, or if you're doing soda, or something like that, because it is easy to just kind of bunch up, and, uh, well, it is easy to just kind of bunch up, wrap the thing around, and you can pretty much take it with you and not worry about uh, it breaking or something like that if it gets smashed, because that material is pretty durable. Would I recommend it over the signal stick? That's a good question. The signal stick to me seems a little bit more fragile than this guy, but I do think the signal stick also performs a little better. So if you're gonna be out there and you're gonna be beating stuff up, you know, you're gonna be tossing it around and stuff, I think the, the little tactical antenna here, the, uh, the mirror kit antenna would be a better choice than the signal stick. Uh, if you see my signal stick review, you know my little um, rant about it, about if you're actually carrying it around, how the antenna flops around. But you don't get the antenna flopping around with this. It stays static, and you're still able to bunch it up. So the trade-off is the signal stick, I think, performs better, but with this guy, you're able to throw it around. You don't have to worry about breaking it anyhow, and it doesn't flop whenever you're walking back and forth. It stays relatively stable and doesn't put too much pressure on the antenna for it. So overall, uh, yeah, if you're into the tactical thing, if you're gonna be outdoors, uh, you need something you can pack away, uh, this right here will probably be a solid choice of antenna. Now I haven't tried out any of the other brands that offer this type of thing, like a Bree and the other ones. I can't really tell you if this antenna is better than the other antennas that offer this. But from what I've seen, this right here is a durable little antenna, and I will definitely be adding it to my little go kits. And that's pretty much it. That pretty much sums up the video. Uh, pretty simple. There's not much to uh, antenna reviews. Uh, I've talked to people on the local repeaters with this. They say it sounds fine. I'm getting to the repeaters fine, so I know the transmit's okay. Um, and that's pretty much all I had to say for it. So if you, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Please make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see when I do upload, which is every Monday and Friday at 2 o'clock. We have live streams every Sunday at 7 o'clock or 1900, and that's all Eastern time. 
But thanks everybody for watching and 73 to you.